What's up? Good morning, guys. So it's about what nine o'clock. Um, we're about to, or I'm about to, grab the camera gear and head out to Pastor Willie's house, and we are about to go get some food for the food pantry. I'll let Pastor Willie, you know, do all the talking and take you guys along, uh, so you can see what the day in the life of the food pantry looks like for our church. So God bless, and here we go. Welcome to MTV Cribs. Oh, this is the MTV Cribs. It's your boy William. Catch me on Instagram, TikTok, and even on Twitch. Willowfire97. Listen, you want to check out the crib? Well, good morning, guys. God bless you all. And today is actually going to be a fun day. So we're going to go to Midwest. It's actually a food bank that we go to in regards of giving out groceries, getting everything set up on the truck, and heading to the church later on. So to sum it up, we all know what it's like to give back, right? So every Tuesday, we go to Midwest, we get the food put on the truck, and once we get to the church, we unload it, bag it up, and then the community's already outside. So they already know that, you know, we're here ready to give back to them, and from there, we give them bags from cereal to chips to different drinks, Gatorade, Coke, Sprite, you name it. But overall, it's just beautiful to bless someone out there because, hey, you never know. You just never know when someone out there needs help. And to be honest, it's... For me, it hits me because, you know, I'm blessed to have a family that helps me with not just living, but having a roof over my head, but also too, others out there, they have it worse than I do. And so to being able to give back and give them food and even just praying for them, man, it's, it goes a long way. You know, you do something for them, man, and it ricochets back. When you bless them, that blessing comes right back. So it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have that bacon, egg, and cheese bagel meal. Orange or scotch? Number eight. Can I start off with a number eight? Orange juice. Uh, orange juice. Go ahead. Can I get a number seven? Yeah. On uh, a drink, orange juice. Okay. Got to make sure we eat before we get in the grind. Always. Always eat before you get in the grind. Now, the downfall of that is that you may get lazy. And uh, yeah, we don't want to get lazy. So uh, we have this code <laughs> after you eat. I mean, we're kind of stuck in the car right now. So, but after you eat, you, um, you get up, don't stay sitting down and get to work. And right now we kind of already up type of thing. So, Father, I thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning, for providing for us, Lord. I thank you for the team. I thank you for everyone, Lord, who's going to be involved today. I pray that you bless this food, Lord, and bless, use us to be a blessing to those who are less fortunate and provide, Father, in every aspect. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. <laughs> this is a 26 footer um, that we usually rent on a weekly basis this is part of the investment uh, because we don't really look for anything in return this is about you know spreading the gospel through giving to the community so it's a 26 footer um, which we can fit approximately uh eight to nine pallets standstill pallets uh but if we break a few pallets down we can fit maybe 11 12 pallets um so yeah you're gonna see this is gonna be stuffed to the top all the way to the back welcome to midwest food bank so as you can see in front of me this is the the warehouse so the, call it the the base of operations this is where we come here every Tuesday from getting drinks to getting chips, cereal, etc. you name it. Actually, let's, let's walk over. I'll give you an example. So if we go in this aisle here, on my left, you got a whole, a whole four pallets of Propel bottles. Sorry, Propel, sorry. Yes, Propel bottles. Uh, you'll see them a lot in the stores from Stop and Shop, Walmart, Target. And then on this side, and mostly known for sports, body armor. 
So, I mean, it's a good flavor too. It's blue raspberry, but it's like I was saying, every week we get different types of drinks. So this is a, another example. Body Armor is a great drink too. And if you keep following me this way, oh, even fruits or fruits or vegetables or even like frozen um, meats, Del Monte fruit cup snacks, using the family pack, it's really good too. Oh, I've never seen this before. What's this? This is, oh, Fredo sauce. So even from time to time, they'll get different types of sauces or they come in packs or even just in a little package. Um, and this is the other side of the warehouse. So this is mainly the, the main port of where we get the frozen meats. So if you want like a frozen steak or frozen chicken or you want to see it in a package or even like, um, we even had beef patties not too long ago and they came in a box. So it was pretty cool to experience that and see the inside of it. I mean, I don't, I don't think they'll let us like walk in now, but just to give you a, a picture, like you open the door and you see a whole, a whole row of frozen um, packages. It's pretty cool. Let me see, what else do we have? What else do we have? Oh, a pallet of eggs. That's another thing they wrap up and they um, donate to us. So we're gonna head back. We're gonna see what is gonna be put into the truck. And then from there, sorting out, making sure the space is great and that, you know, that it balances the truck and everything in regards of weight. Oh, it looks like we have the full crew today. Looks like we got everyone today. Okay. Wow, this is, I'm telling you, it's a pretty big place. Like to walk in and see it all, it's, it's, a, it's a big place, this place. I'm telling you. Uh, I'm John Carter. Uh, Social Security. No. <laughs> 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 Um, so, John, how did you get involved with Midwest? Well, I was, you know, retired and looking for something to do. I actually wanted to help out in my community. And uh, I heard of uh, someone that was here, so I came in to see, you know, what exactly they did. And it actually worked out better for me because I was looking to do something in my community, but they help out so many communities in the Hartford area where I'm from and in East Hartford. So. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, so how does being a part of this organization impact your life on a personal level? Well, the way it impacts my life is it, 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 it helps ground me and know that I'm helping people giving back. And that's a big part of what I do now that I'm retired, just, just try and give back. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And um, how did you connect with New Life? Connected with New Life through helping them <laughs> load up their trucks every time they come here. We try and get it to capacity to be able to get that food out in the community, which I grew up in Hartford. So that once again, that makes me feel good that I know where this stuff is going to. That's beautiful. And always a pleasure sitting here talking with Pastor Will. <laughs> he, I paid him to say that. <laughs> he, he even helps load the truck. <laughs> Nah, John is a very humble man, and I think that's, I admire that. I admire his work ethic. There were times where he has to leave at a certain time. He's like, man, I gotta make sure you guys are set. And we greatly appreciate that. Um, and that's how we kind of built, you know, this friendship and relationship. And I hope to build even more, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and get to know you on different levels, not right. just Midwest levels. So <laughs> appreciate you, brother. All right. Thank you. Yes.
Well, God bless you guys once again. It's your boy William. We're back here. Actually, we're here at New Life Worship Center. Uh, as you can tell, all the boxes from Hershey's Kisses to the fruit juices to even like the fudge making kit. Actually, I'll give you a tour look. So the whole purpose here, it's like I was saying this morning, right? We're blessing the community. So from cereal to Hershey's to fudge to graham crackers, peaches, four seasons, which fruits together in, nice, in a nice blend and some oatmeal cookies. It's pretty nice when you give back. It's like I was saying this morning. And if you come over here, you want to follow me, Manny. This is everyone here unloading with the cookies, the bread, fruits and the veggies here. And then got the guys up there on the truck unloading everything here into the bins. You know what's even better about that? It's a nice day out! Woo! <laughs> All right, they call me Frank. Uh, originally from the north end, down by uh, Main Street area, over there by the gym, you know where Parker Center at? Mm -hmm. Right around there. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm in a program down on Homestead. I suffer from uh, paranoia and, uh, and, and uh, you know, uh, 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 I, 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 I like to participate, doing little things that I could, you know. Everybody needs help. I'm, I'm just, I'm just a uh, 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 you know, like, I like to, you know, do what I can for the community, for myself and stuff. I need it because I ain't got no place to stay at, but I, I, I live with my uncle, so I'm going to need something to eat. It helped me a lot because, you know, it helped me do something positive, stay positive. It's a better way of life living, you know, something better to do. Okay. Meet new people. I told a couple of my friends that, you know, come up here, I see them up here, you know, you know. Do you believe in God? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe in God. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Frank, do you mind if I pray for you before I go back over there? Thank you. Yep. Oh, you want to give him that? All right, go ahead. Thank you, man. I'll give you some, some you. cupcakes yeah. there. Yeah, I'm going to eat, eat. All right, prayer. Frank, I'm going to say a little prayer for you, okay? All right. God, we pray for Frank. Father, we pray that you continue to use him to help us here at the church with the boxes. Father, we pray that you continue to provide for Frank, God, and that he knows that you love him. Father, we pray that you touch Frank's heart and help him get to a better place, Lord. Know that I want him to know that you love him, Father, above all things, and that you will forgive him for his sins and be there for him, Lord. God, we pray protection and healing over his life right now, Father. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. All right, Frank? All right, all right thank you. All right, thanks for coming by. Worship Center for our food pantry and Harbor. Thank you. God bless. So we've been out here for uh, a few hours now, blessing the community and, uh, you know, being able to just be of an encouragement to families, kids, um, and to me, that's, you know, to me, to us, to the church, and it's, it's a blessing. It really is. Um, I'm excited that we're able to do this. 
Um, but, uh, you know, this will kind of just wrap up our day. Uh, typically, we just, you know, we end around 6, 6.30. And um, you guys, you know, you see the need and you're going to see it throughout the video and, you know, for today. Um, so thank you for tuning in. Thank you for following. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. And until next time.